All right, everybody, welcome back. Ready for round two? I hope so. So, the first thing we did together was, on a piece of paper, I had you guys brainstorm costume ideas. If you remember, I was making a costume for myself. I wanted to be a kind of a superhero. <clears throat> I like to help people. I liked heroes. So I made a mask, I made a hat, and I made a special bracelet with a purple jewel that can control time. And with that jewel, I can help people. Right? I could use that jewel to do good things and to help people out. So that was my costume. And that's the kind of, using this costume, that's kind of the character or person that I want to be. I want to be someone who would help people, kind of like a hero. Now, your costume might look very different than mine. Your costume might be about something totally different, and that's okay. I want you to make whatever kind of costume you want to make. <clears throat> but... For my costume, and for what I'm going to show you next, my costume has the mask, it has the hat, and it has the bracelet. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to start making these pieces of your costume so that you can wear them. <clears throat> for this part of the project, you will need paper, you will need a pencil, and an eraser. And you'll also need some markers or some colored pencils or anything you have to draw with and decorate with. There's no right or wrong things to use. Whatever you have. Um, if you have a sketchbook that has paper in it, for this step, I would say it would be a good idea to take some paper out of your sketchbook. Kind of like the paper I'm using. Now, when we're making things for our costume, we wanna make sure to make them big enough so that they fit on our bodies. I'm a grown up, so my body is bigger than your guys's. You guys, your guys' uh, bodies are smaller. So these pieces of paper, you should be able to make parts of your costume that will fit on your body just fine. But when you make them, you have to think about that. You have to think about, well, if I want this to go on my face, I should make that big enough so it can go over my whole face. Or if I make a hat, I should make it big enough that it fits on my head, right? Now, I'm gonna start by making my mask. So I'm gonna take a new piece of paper and I am going to start to draw so that you can see the mask. <clears throat> So I want to think about how big I should make it so that it fits on my head and my face, right? And once I have an idea how big that should be, I'm going to start by making it. And I'm going to use pencil because if I make a mistake, I can erase pencil. If I was using marker or colored pencil and I made a mistake, I can't really erase it. So that's why I like to use pencil when I start. I like to use pencil because I can erase it if I need to. Now we need to think about where the eyes are gonna go. And for that part, I will probably cut out holes in my mask so that my eyes can fit in there and that I can see when I put the mask on. So I made my eye holes. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this mask and I'm going to color it in using red because when I designed my mask, I made my mask red. So I am going to start by putting some red on there. I like to start by tracing the parts I'm going to cut out. I'm not gonna color those red because I'm gonna cut those away, right? Now, when I color in, I like to kind of trace the outside first. You don't have to do that. You can color it in any way you want to. 
But when I trace the outside, it helps me know where I should stop and start. So that's why I like to do it this way. It will take me a minute. I know sometimes my hand's probably blocking your view. So hopefully you can see okay. If not, just hang on a minute and I'll get it all colored in and I'll show you, I'll make sure you guys can see it. There we go. So it's all outlined in red. Now I just have to use my marker and start to color everything in. I'm gonna go nice and slow. And I am gonna color it in. And my goal, what I like to do, I kinda, when I color things in, I kinda like to play a game. I kinda look at all this white space and I like to use the marker and say, okay, my goal is to make all this white go away. Right? When I don't see any more white, that's how I know I'm going to be finished. And I like to take my time and I like to color things in so they look solid. Right? So the harder you work on something, the more work and time you put into it, sometimes the better it comes out. And I'm gonna take my time and work hard and color all this in nice and red. And because I do that, it's gonna look really bright and solid and colorful. It's gonna look really cool when I put it on my face. So that's why I like to take my time. I like to really color things in and I like to play that game where I try to find all the white and cover it all up with red so that the white goes away. So we're getting there. Again, it, it takes time, but it's worth it. It will look really good when you're finished. Maybe red is, is somebody's favorite color that's watching this video. Red's a pretty nice color. This mask is gonna look pretty cool. Almost done, I only have a couple more of these pointy parts of my mask to go and then it's all gonna be nice and red. I'll be interested to see what colors you guys use on your costumes. I wonder if anyone will use red like I'm using, or if you guys will choose different colors. There's so many different colors you can use. All right, I think that looks pretty good. There's my mask, all nice and colored in. I really took my time, so it's all red. You see that? I like that. So that's my mask, and I'm gonna just put it over here, keep it safe, I don't wanna lose that. We're gonna do something with this in a little bit. So now it's time for me to start thinking about my hat, right? Now that we've done the mask, I think I'll do the hat next. Now my hat was gonna be blue, so that's an important thing for me to remember and think about. That's why it's good to do these drawings, because I know what everything's gonna look like before I sit down and make it. So, for this hat, I wanna make sure it's gonna fit on my big, big, big head. So I wanna make sure I do my hat really big, really big. So, I am going to start with pencil, because I like to start with pencil in case I make a mistake. And my hat, if you remember, was basically a triangle shape. Can you guys see that? Just basically a triangle. So what I'm doing is on a new piece of paper, I'm drawing a big old triangle. 
Here's a trick. Sometimes you can make a dot where you want the top of the triangle to be. And you can make a dot on that first line. And then, have you ever connected the dots? You can connect those dots. And sometimes that helps people know how to make a triangle and know how to make these two lines that go on the top. Now, because it's going to be a hat, I want to make a second one. So I am going to do that same triangle again. What you can do, if you would like, is you could put your piece of paper underneath. Now, I don't know how well it's going to show up on video. It probably doesn't. But in real life, I can see my triangle underneath this one. And I can trace it. There. So that I make two triangles that are almost the same. Now that I've draw those, drew those triangles in pencil, just like my mask, it is time to color it in. This part takes a lot of work and a lot of patience, but just like my mask, it will be worth it. Now I have two big old triangles to color in, so this will take me a few minutes. I like to start by doing what I did on my mask, which is drawing the outside of the triangles with a color. And that helps me know, now I just have to color all the inside. All right, so now that we have our two triangles, I outline them in blue. I like to do that so I know exactly what I have to color in. So I'm going to start with one triangle. I'm going to take my blue marker and just slowly and carefully, like always, by now you guys know that I like to do it slowly and carefully. I am going to take my blue marker and just take my time and color in my hat. Again, when I color my stuff, I like to really color it solid. So I like to make all that white space go away. Maybe that's how you like to color too. Or maybe you color differently. Maybe your costume will have lots of colorful parts. Or maybe some of your costume will be like mine where it's mostly all one color. Whatever your imagination can think of, you can make. And I'm really excited to, you know, I when I think about what kind of costumes you guys are going to make, I get really excited because I know you guys are creative and I know you guys are going to make some amazing costumes. So again, this part takes a while, but it's worth it because it looks really good when it's finished. I like how it looks when it's all solid and colored in nicely. <clears throat> now, if you guys hear a cat meow during this video, I have a cat, and he is walking around my feet right now as I'm coloring, and he, our cat is a loud cat. He likes to meow and talk, so if you guys hear a meow... It's not me, it's my cat. <laughs> our cat is very silly at our house. Our cat likes to drink a lot of water. He sometimes likes to go outside and, and sit in the sun. All right, so we have our first blue triangle. <coughs> excuse me, all colored in. Time for number two. <coughs> <coughs> okay, 
So I am gonna start by coloring in the second triangle. Again, taking my time. Fill it in nice and solid. Because on my costume, I want people to see that I'm wearing a blue hat. I want it to look really blue. So I'm going to take my time and color it in. Like I was saying earlier, I'm really, I, I'm, I can't wait, you know, to see what kind of costumes you guys make. And I'm sure you're going to look amazing when this project is finished and you're wearing your costumes. People might, might not even recognize that it's you anymore when you have your costume on. It depends on what kind of costume you're making. Like I said, there's a lot of different costumes, right? Some costumes have a lot of pieces and parts, and some costumes don't. So I'm almost finished, not too much more to go. Getting my blue hat nice and solid. Almost done. Again, I'm looking at all that white space left and I'm saying, how can I make that go away? And I just try to color it in nice and solid so I don't see any more white. Once this little bit of white goes away, I'll know I'm finished. Let's watch it together. Let's see when that white disappears. Oh, I think I got it. All right. So <clears throat> now we have the two pieces of our hat that are all blue and colored in and finished. I'm going to take those and... I'm gonna put them over here with my mask so that everything is nice and safe. And now I just need to make the last part of my costume. Does anybody remember what that is? What's the last piece of my costume? I had the mask, I had the hat. It's the bracelet. So it's time to make the bracelet. Now for this piece, <clears throat> a bracelet is round and it needs to go around your arm, right? It would need to go around my arm. So we have a flat piece of paper. How are we gonna make a round bracelet? Well, the idea is to take the paper and make it round. Right? But when we start, we're not gonna do that yet. We need to start with it flat. And by using a pencil, I am gonna draw a long rectangle. Like this. And I'm also gonna think about my arm. And when I cut this rectangle out and I roll it up like I showed you, is that going to be big enough to fit on my arm? I think so. So I think I'm in good shape. I think I've made it big enough. And I also had that purple jewel on my bracelet. That's probably the most my most favorite part of my costume, is my purple jewel. That's what makes me, uh, you know, what gives me my superpowers. So I really like my purple jewel and my bracelet. So I will start by, now that I have it all drawn with pencil, I'll take my markers and I'll start to color it in. Now, you guys have seen me color in some stuff, so you know by now that I like to start with the outsides and do that. And I might also do the same thing with my purple jewel. I might draw the purple circle again. And that way I'll know where the purple's gonna start and stop. 
So now I'm just gonna take my marker and I am gonna color it in nicely. I get to play that game again where I make the white go away. Now, I made a little mistake there. Can you see it? I took my marker and I accidentally colored outside of my bracelet. That's okay, because we're just gonna cut this out in the end anyway. So if you make any mistakes out here, don't worry about it, it's okay. We are gonna draw, and sorry, we're gonna color, and I am gonna finish my bracelet and get it nice and orange taking my time, making all that white disappear. Almost done, not too much more to go. It's starting to look pretty orange to me. So I'm just gonna finish it up as best I can. Almost finished. How much white is left? How much white do you guys see? Oh, I still see some white, so I'm not all the way finished. Now how much white is left? Well, not very much. Here we go. Oh, and I think I'm good. Now for that purple jewel, my favorite part. I am gonna color this in purple. Again, I'm gonna take my time. Like I said, purple's my favorite color. Purple's been my favorite color for a, a little while. I love purple. I'm gonna switch markers. Mine's getting a little dry. And I'm just gonna finish this purple off. As best I can. I'll get that purple all nice colored in. Until I don't see any more white. Okay, I don't see any more white, so I think I'm finished. All right, so if we kind of go back to where we started, I had my drawing where I drew my ideas out and I knew what those things would look like. And now I have done those things on different pieces of paper, nice and big. There we go. So there is my mask, here is my hat, my two pieces of my hat, and here is my bracelet. All done, and let me hold it in front of me so you guys can see how big they are. They are nice and big. They are big. So they should fit on me pretty well. The next part of our project is I'm gonna show you how to cut these out and turn them into costumes. So stay tuned. We'll be back for part three.